This video is to support you as you do quiz number four. You will go to uh, Kaggle or Kaggle.com. From there, you want to go to Data Sets. And when you go to Data Sets, is where, uh, this is where you're going to search for data. Um, the best way, I think, that the easiest way is to kind of just go down here and scroll through all the different data sets that exist. You can also search, just start typing in different uh, topics of interest and see if anything comes up. Uh, an important thing, you can see my picture is there, it's because um, you will have to create a, a user name and uh, password to download data. You can view it, but you will have to create an account using an email to, uh, to download data. And so once you do that, then you'll have access to download data. You have all these different sets. Some will be easier than others to, to go through. Um, USA name data. So if you click on that, let's say you're interested in that and you want to see if I can find uh, two variables that may be related to each other. Um, once you go there, again, it's a busy um, website, so you have to know how to navigate this. Um, one, you'll get an overview, so you'll get um, some context or what the content is. Uh, this data set was created by Social Security Administration, contains all the names and social from Social Security card applications. Um, and so we have some context where the sources come from, inspiration of the data, um, some potential questions that you may be able to answer with the data. And again, it could be data you, you can't use. So you click on data, what you're gonna happen here is you will see some files that you would be able to download and you click on them. Um, over here, you get kind of a preview. You're in data. You get a preview of the data to see um, um, what's in there a little bit. Metadata may give you a listing of what is in it. So you have state, gender, year, name, and number of occurrence of that name. So I don't think well, this one we would be able to use, uh, but that's what, how you would be able to uh, begin looking for it. Um, let me show you an example of data that you may be able to use. Um, I saw a special on bees and honey production, so I think I found a data set here that had that. So again, I'm just scrolling a lot of different topics. Again, you may or may not be able to use the data. Um, let's see if I can find that one here. And again, it will take you some time. It may, this might be the hardest part of the assignment is to find data. I'm going to keep on going. I know it exists somewhere here. I'll show you how to download. And something to keep in mind is when you find data that you're interested in, you may want to download. Let's just search that. Um, it may be downloaded into a zip file or maybe a single file. It all again depends on what you click. Let me get, there we go, Honey Production. So I have that one. I take a look. Let's look at the overview. Long explanation gives you um, content. And I see two variables here, yield per um, colony in pounds and then the price per pound, um, how much you would be able to sell it for. So I think those are two potential variables that could be used. They're both quantitative, and I think one may influence or explain the other. So I'm going to go to the data. I'm going to download that. Um, I'm going to download. You can download all of the files, but this one here, Honey Production, you, or you can download individually. If you download all, it's going to become a zip file that you need to unzip. So I'm going to click on Honey Production. It should download that for me. I hope so. And so there it was. I hit the download button for this file here, and I get the Honey Production. So I'm going to open that up, a CSV file. Um, a CSV file is a file that you can use in um, uh, Excel or Google Sheets. And so then you can see all the data. And one of the requirements is you just need 30 pieces of data. So what I'm interested in is the yield per colony. And so I guess this is 71 pounds per, this, per colony with this one here, and then this is the price they sold it at. So I'm, I'm curious if there's a relationship between those variables. 
And so one way is I'm just going to copy. I mean, I have a ton of more data than I need. Uh, I could pick interesting data. I can go through years or whatever. But I'm just going to, just as an example, show you here. I'm going to pick um, one. I'm going to pick 30 sets of data. So let's go with 30 there. Control C, edit copy. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to StatCrunch so I can analyze the data. I am going to just control V. And one thing is it comes in here, uh, I will have to do a little editing, some cleaning of the data. I'm interested in yield per call. So I'm really interested in this one, yield and price per pound, what I sell it for based on how much pounds I get. I mean, is it a relationship between them? My hypothesis is I think if I produce more, I can sell it at a cheaper price. I don't need these variables here, and I got to get rid of those. So I can just delete those out. I don't need these. I can also go to Edit Column, and I'm going to delete out those VAR4 and VAR5 since I don't need those. Um, I don't need that one here. I could out actually delete row one, two, uh, row, delete, I'm going to delete, oops, let's do that again, row one, edit, row, delete, and so I'm going to do that, so now I have the data, now I want to see is there a relationship, and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a scatter plot, is there a relationship between yield and price? And there we go. I see something. It's not a perfect line, but there could potentially be something. And then what you're going to end up doing is having to run a regression on that. I'm not going to complete the analysis here, but that's what you would be doing, something we had done before. You compute it. Um, you determine if there's some relationship. Look at the correlation coefficient. And then I can see, yeah, there looks like some relationship there. But that's what you're going to be able to have to do for quiz number four.